Hey guys, it's Pete with Crunch Time Coaching and every week I'm gonna try and make at least one video where I answer one of your specific questions or requests on uh, a topic that you'd like me to cover. So today we're gonna answer a question from TNT On Court. Now first of all, before I get into the video, I wanna thank TNT On Court because I know he's been watching a lot of my videos for quite a while and commenting and supporting, so I, I love that. And you want to know about how to make your ball bounce higher off the kick serve. And a lot of people struggle with this and the cool thing is I think the answer or how to get that to happen is, is easier than you think it's going to be. So I'm going to show you what I think you need to be doing. Most people I think when they're trying to get that kick they're trying to you know swing a lot faster and hit the ball a lot harder and add a lot more spin and that's not necessarily going to make the ball kick up the way you want it to. So I'm going to show you what your best friend is. I'm going to come back and I'm going to try and really illustrate a point. Okay, so maybe the weirdest camera angle I've ever done on a video. But watch this. Here's what you need to be thinking about. Not necessarily hitting that ball harder. The easiest way to add more kick and more height on the ball is height is your friend, right? So watch this. If I just drop the ball, the ball is coming to about my waist. Now if I bring the ball a little higher, that ball now came up to here, almost my chest. If I hit that ball up there, whoops, let's try that again. If I hit that ball up there, if it goes up there, that one went over my head, okay? So it's all about getting the ball to go higher over the net. That's what you need to be thinking about. Let me show you how to do it. Okay guys, I interrupt this kick serve video because we have a special guest today. We have Sammy the Serving Snake. He's joined us. Uh, so we, you, don't worry, we'll, we'll finish the thing. But Sammy, Sammy. Sammy, do you have do you have anything special, any advice you'd like to give the people out there on how to develop a really good kick serve? Uh, Sammy's a little tongue tied right now. Anyway, we'll get back to the lesson. Okay, guys. So first, the basics. You know, when you're going to hit the kick serve, you're not looking to hit the ball directly in the middle. Okay, um, you're looking to go from the bottom of the ball over, and depending on whether you're a right-hander or a left-hander, you're aiming for a different part of the ball. So me as a lefty, it's always, I'm looking at the inside part of the ball, trying to brush up on it. And I, I think if you've studied the game a little bit, a lot of you already know that, but we also know that's easier said than done. And I think that the biggest thing when people are trying to do that, they end up, because they're trying to hit that kick serve and they end up covering the ball. So they're trying to make it kick, but they end up doing this and then the ball goes down into the net or it goes lower over the net and they don't get that, that real kick. The, the key is, is when you're hitting it, you wanna make sure that your racket doesn't turn over the ball too much and that when you're hitting it, it's still got room to extend. See, that's another thing too. If, you, if you're hitting it on the full extension, you're hitting the ball in the full extension, the ball again isn't going to go very high over the net. You, the ball goes up, you're actually going to let it drop a little lower than most uh, serves. Like if I'm going to go and really try and flatten the bot, it's going to go up, it's going to drop a just a very tiny hair, and then I'm going to then I'm going to go up and hit it, be fully extended. When I hit the kick serve, I'm going to let it go up, drop a little more, and then kick, and then my racket still extends up kick and the racket still extends up and I think a, a really good thing I, I, I'm, I'm doing double shot Tuesday and so there's a video of, of this other student I have Bell who's who's been struggling she's hitting everything in the net so first I had her on the ground and and just you know that's a typical one that a lot of people have done you know get both knees on the ground trying to add some height but then I thought you know her angle in her body her shoulders are too even a lot of times lean like this so what we did is we got out a bucket. So I'm about to get out the bucket and show you by changing the angle of your body, I think it's gonna be easier for you to go up and hit that, that kick. So I'll be right back to show you how to do that.
Okay, so I'm inside the court for a couple of reasons. Number one is I'm hoping this will get our back camera where you can really see the height of the toss and the height of the ball better. And also, number two, I think it's good to practice inside of the court so you're not worried about how strong you're hitting the ball. Um, you know, it's just, it's just a little bit easier. You can, even, you can even go up further, but what we're trying to do is get the height. So you notice if I stand like this with my knee up here, Look at, look at how the, the angle of the shoulders are. So this is gonna set me up to really hit up on the ball. And I'm, you're gonna notice that I'm swinging now in Braves country and we've got a, a pretty poor year this year. We have something called the tomahawk chop where we go like this, out this way, right? You see that? Now we haven't been able to do that this much this year. And even when we have, and we look like we're gonna win the game, we still lose it. But this is the motion from the side, rather than going out directly and hitting the ball this way, so we're not tomahawk chopping this way, because then we're gonna hit the ball too flat. So if I'm coming here and I'm tomahawk chopping that way, you see I'm hitting the ball down in the net and it's going lower. got to be going this way. I'm tomahawk chopping that way and look at the difference in the height and the higher, whoops sorry, the higher I can hit that ball up over the net, I'm going to get a big I'm going to get a bigger bounce off the court. So let me really exaggerate one here. Coming here getting low up over that. See now that's going to have a big look at the bounce. Don't worry if it goes in or out. Just up, over, see, practice getting that height before you even worry if it's gonna go in. See that? And so you can see just by doing that, we've added a lot. Now, I bet you if I backed up, a lot of those would go in anyway, but I wasn't even trying to hit that ball in. I'm trying to show you that you swing up and out here high. Think about it almost like you're hitting a topspin lob, and say you're hitting the topspin lob this way, you're hitting it that way, topspin lob that way, and then you'll get more height and kick. Uh, we spent a lot of time on this video, but I really wanted to make sure that I answered TNT's question. If you have any questions out there, have a request for a specific video, whether it's on a stroke technique like the serve, the volley, overhead, forehand, backhand, slice, right? We should get to some forehand slice videos, I think. Uh, what do you guys think out there? Mental toughness, strategy. I'm basically saying whatever you all want, I'm gonna read all your comments and I'm gonna try and get to as many as possible. It may take a while for me to get to it, but I'm gonna try and get to it. Also, if you already see your uh, request down there, if somebody's already taken what you want, reply to what they said and said, yeah, me too. So then that way, I know it's kind of a priority. If I see like five, six people respond to one post, like I want to learn how to hit a slice serve or something like that, then I know that that's a very popular request and I'll put a priority on that and get to that sooner. All right, in the meantime, 
like the video. I love likes. So, uh, comment. We already know we're making requests, so there's the comment. And subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. This is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching signing off.